that that was actually you that turned the light on, okay? So I definitely want to conversate with you, but just to confirm that that was you, can you please turn that flashlight back off if that was you that turned it on? I promise I'm not trying to jerk you around. I just I want confirmation that that was actually you and it wasn't just the flashlight. Just trying to get your energy together and do what you can to get it to go back off, please. Clients upstairs. All you gotta do is bump that light a little bit, it should go off. Clients upstairs. So if you cannot get that light to go back off, I'm going to assume that was not you. Try. Keep trying. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Christy. No whisper. Keep trying. I know it takes some energy. They like this flashlight a lot. <laughs> Same yeah. thing at the lumber baron. Like, this is the one that. Yeah, that's weird. It's so damn hard. It's so hard. <laughs> wow. She's like, um, no, it's not. <laughs> Seriously, I couldn't turn that thing off. Well, on, rather. <laughs> okay, two, so K2 there's two. Off. Yep. That's the client upstairs. Client upstairs. Brian, when we're done, I want you to try to manipulate that flashlight, okay? Okay. I'm sorry if you're having a hard time with that flashlight. I know it's a pain in the butt. Sorry. <laughs> My throat's killing me, so it's hard to even oh, no talk. <laughs> we should try the green one. That one would be easier. If that is you trying to manipulate that flashlight, this one that's hanging from the pole is a lot easier. Okay. Wow. And were you trying to give me some kind of message by making it flicker like that? Were you doing that on purpose? Because now you've really made it come on strong. Hmm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. That is amazing. Can you make a sound somewhere in the room? Let us know that you're here. Other than Marissa's room. <laughs> right? Please don't be a fly. K2 this one. Mm hmm. And unlike over there, the K2 is not consistent. Mm hmm. Do you like that flashlight? 
and make it easier for you to communicate with us. Would have been handy to have those in your day, right? They're still moving. Maybe so many buildings wouldn't have burned down. Were you and Victor for the big fire in 1898? If you were, can you turn that light off for me since you got it on strong right now? If you were here in 1898 for the big Victor fire, can you make that light go off? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope by now that you see that, that we're here to have a peaceful conversation with you and just visit with you. Hmm. Take that as a yes. Also, I hope you're saying anything that you want to say we're recording audio at the same time so if there's any message you want to get out this is your opportunity Katie if you're a I want to find out if you were a female or a male, okay? Since you have the light on, good right now. If you're a female, can you turn the light off for me? Thank you. Did you work in this building? Can you turn the light on if you worked in the building? Hmm. Wow. That is incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm loving the fact that you're visiting with us. Makes me very happy. Like I say, we came all the way to, from Denver to visit with you. Really, really appreciate it. I hope I don't offend you with this question, but I'm just trying to find out, okay? I'm trying to get information about you. If you worked in the brothel, can you turn the light off for me? You just went off. Sorry if I disrespected you with that. Again, this is a fact-finding mission. I'm just trying to get information about you, that's all. Can you turn the light off if you died in this building? Again, thank you so much for communicating. You notice how it keeps answering in threes? Too? Yeah. Yeah. And like three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm coughing.
So I'm sure you can see that there's two guys down here and two females down here. I would love for you to touch either one of the guys, either one of the males down here, me or Brian. Feel free to touch either one of us. Like I said, I'm not afraid to visit with you. That's what I'm here for. So if you want to touch me and let me know that you're here, that's fine. If you like that we're here, can you turn that light back on strong for me? If you're happy that we're here visiting. If you want us to leave you alone, can you turn the light back on strong for me? Did you turn it off so you can come closer to me and Brian? <clears throat> the K2 did go off when you asked if they liked us here. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Kind of chirped. Mm hmm I'm just going to hope that's a yes. Mm hmm I know that flashlight's difficult, so I really, really appreciate all your effort. I hope I'm not draining you of your energy. I, I really, really appreciate it. Maybe they're answering with the K2 now because it's a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. The flashlight is <coughs> coughing. Could you possibly touch this green one at all? Touch it, make it come on, anything. It comes on really easy. You can even touch it and make it swing a little bit. Anything that you want to do. It should be really easy for you to move it or turn it on. It's this green one hanging from the pipe here. I guess I'm not touching that thing in my day. That was used for something totally different. <laughs> <laughs> Bob. <laughs> I don't know where that's been. <laughs> K2 just went off. <laughs> Back to Bob again. That's funny. She has a sense of humor. Every girl's got to have one. <laughs> <laughs> if you were asking me, those ladies should put that back in their purse. <laughs> Something just moved in the sun.